Thanks, my friends. Send me those footages. Hey, welcome back to the face message tutorial. This is the part three, and things getting interesting. Now we make it capable of draw multiple shapes on the face and as undo, delete, and crispy glow function. Let's get into it. All right. So first, to draw multiple shapes, I change the array shapes to two D array, and we prepare first element in advance. Hmm. For in case you don't know that 2D array, it's an array but contains normal arrays instead of values. Uh, the data structure looks two-dimensional, right? It's often used to, um, for example, to handle matrices in program. But in this case, we use the 2D arrays to store indices of facial landmarks consist of the multiple shapes. Next, I make another variable named shape index. Since we handle multiple shapes, I want to make sure uh, which shape we are currently editing. We use this variable shape index in this mouse click function. At here, we are currently trying to push the value to the array shapes. But this array now it's the 2D array, right? So that code will add value at here. But uh, we don't want to do that. We want to add the value at here. Right? Hmm. So we need to access in this small array from outside of this 2D array. Right? And that's very easy. Actually, very easy. That's it. And now the shape index is 0. Yeah, if the shape index is 0, uh, that means we can add the value in this first small array. And to draw multiple shapes, I want to create complete edit function. Okay, um, here if I press C on the keyboard and if the last small array, uh, this one, the last small array has at least one value, which means the current shapes has at least one vertex. Then here, um, add another small array, another new blank array to the uh, to the array shapes, and also increment the shape index to add values in the new array, not the old one, and that's gonna be a new independent shape. And here, let's out of the two D array after that. Lastly, we look up the draw shapes function. Okay, as we handle multiple shapes, we need to add one more for loop here to go to through the uh, 2D array. Then don't forget to add this variable s to here and here. Right. In this small for loop, we look at the uh, small array in the 2D array. So let's reload it. I press C on the keyboard. Good, it's working great. So, in the console, we can see um, every time I press C on the keyboard, yeah, a new array, new small array is created. If the last one uh, has at least one vertex, one indices. If it doesn't have, uh, it doesn't create a new array. Let's add undo and delete function. Uh, 
Okay, for the undo function, I use Z on the keyboard. And if the latest small array has at least one vertex, I mean uh, at least one indices, then uh, we use pop function. It's a JavaScript native function that removes uh, last element of the array. Then output the current latest small array to see it's removing. And for the delete function, I initialize the 2D array and shape index again. So let's reload it. I press Z. <laughs> okay, that's working beautifully. You see the console? Mm. So next is D to delete. Okay. Nice. Next is the glow effect. I copy and paste that function. Alright, uh, these are originally the functions of um, Canvas Rendering Context 2D, which is a part of an API to achieve the same effect on HTML Canvas. But now we can use in pfab.js. So out here you can set color, blurriness, and XY offset. Okay. Now you see that? It looks good, isn't it? Mm. Well, I assume majority of you haven't ever used that. Today your P5 Live one level up. There is one more thing I need to do before I end this video. Now, once we press C on the keyboard, uh, which is the complete function we just made, but after that, we can never edit the old ones, the old shapes, right? So I want to use uh, up and down of the arrow keys to change the shape index to enable to edit the old ones. Okay, uh, this key press is a P5 function similar to the key typed. In this function, we can use like uh, arrow, shift, command, that kind of uh, special keys. Yeah. And in this case, we use the press up to increment the shape, the shape index and press down to decrement. I also change this index of undo to the shape index to edit other shapes. So, reload it. I just made three shapes and I press up and down. Hey, look at that. The shape index is changing, right? And if I set like one, the shape index is one, then press Z on the keyboard. Yeah, the corresponding the shape is edited. That looks good. And if I set like zero and press Z again. Okay. I set like two. That looks working. Yes, it looks it's working, but actually there's a problem. At this moment, even I keep press the Z. Yeah, and all the shapes are deleted, but actually still here. The unneeded small arrays uh, still remain here, because um, we just deleted the elements in the small arrays, but but actually not the arrays themselves. 
To solve that, I need to add more several codes at here and here. Okay, so um, what this code does is um, uh, to, so uh, what this code does is when I press up or down, and if the here um, if the length of a current small array is zero, and also the two D array shape has at least two small array two, then remove the current small array itself. Okay. But after remove the array, but still the shape index is uh, the same, that sometimes we get error because it refer the array doesn't exist anymore. So don't forget put those calls. One, two, three here. Okay, so reload it. I press Z and move the index. Okay. So let's look at the shapes. Yeah, it's working. Uh, now there's no unneeded uh, small arrays, right? Hmm. I don't see any error, so I think it's working. Oh, by the way, in the draw shapes function, uh, I change the color of the shape when the index is identical to the shape index. I press C Okay, they are four shape I change the shape index Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> so that we can use more intuitively Alright, thank you guys and girls for watching. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you one way to set the individual parameters like fill, saturation, transparency for each shape. Furthermore, we will implement screenshot. So see you in the next video.